Hey, good morning and happy Saturday to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Bobby D. Good morning, my love. Yeah, so happy Saturday. Here it is, the first Saturday in April, to be precise. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, first show in April. It is uh, April 6th, 2024. Saturday. Saturday. Yes. <laughs> so here Saturday. we go. Saturday. 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 Yep. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. Hey, and my rose from Keith Washington. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, it's still about to fall off any minute. Yeah. But I think I might keep since it is since it's dried on its own. I could keep it. I could. Clip, I think you should. I could clip that part and then keep it. <laughs> now you're sure that's the one from Keith? Positive. Okay. Because that's the one that had one, two, three leaves right there. Oh, okay. That's how I remember. <laughs> that's work. It works out perfectly then. Yes, I remember. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> And we want to say good morning to Juliana. She's running the uh, management team today. And good morning to Danetta. Good, good morning, morning to you. She says good morning, Cubbies. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Saturday. So, yes, here we are, Saturday, April the 6th, 2024. It's the CCI radio show with Sam C. and Bobby D. Your favorite weekend duo is back for the CCI radio show here on our YouTube channel. And it's a, if this is your first time, welcome aboard. Uh, make sure you click like, share, and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing of all the shenanigans and everything that we do, what we talk about. We have so much content other than this show here on our channel. That's true. As well. Like what? Well, <laughs> let's see. We have etiquette class with Mrs. Coverage. We have cooking phone with Mrs. Coverage. We have Sam C's credit tips. We have Tuesday talks with Bobby D. Am I missing something? And no, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. And plus, we have the CCI radio show. That's it. <laughs> which we're coming to you live right now on our YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> so, so, yes, we are excited, you know, back for a, another round of fun. So we are going to go ahead and get this episode started for the cci radio show and the cci radio show is sponsored by vibrant souls health and wellness shout out to the lovely rio and you can follow vibrant souls on instagram and you can always always email vibrant souls at vibrant souls at gmail.com that is correct all right and the cci radio show for this first saturday in april and the show begins <laughs> right now <laughs> We are back. Wow, look, I look like I'm sitting in a ditch. I told you. Don't we? Let's not uh, me. Straighten this up there. No, no. No? Okay. Not that. Let me see. <laughs> it just looks like it looks should like I, maybe um, I should move over or something. It looks like I'm in the middle like this. Well, and it's, just, well it's all about you. Spotlight on you. Well, the spotlight is on you, really. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Could be. Could be. Spotlight on you. But, uh, and Donetta <laughs> also, <laughs> and Donetta also said, plus a new show coming soon. Yes. That's true. Yeah. That's you true. know, it's funny. She said, she uh, kind of beat me to the punch there. That's good. Yeah. We have a new audio show coming soon. It is called Crazy People Follow Us. And you never know what you're going to hear on that show. That's very true. Okay. I never know when um, we're going to hear that show. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it, it is coming this April, so stay tuned for that. Um, day and time to be determined. Also, um, you may have noticed there was no Back to the 80s podcast this uh, 
past Thursday. That's because our uh, network was down. Uh, we, I think the network might be fixed. I'm not sure. We may, um, we may try to give Love Notes a try for tomorrow. If not, we may just reschedule that and just um, try to do whatever comes on third this coming Thursday. That's give good. them some time for the network to uh, get themselves back. Okay, I'll slide over. Here we go. Now we Is look, that better? Now we look centered. Now we're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um, spring edition of Pandemic Press Media Magazine is on the way, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. It's going to be really exciting. That's very true. Another exciting Another issue. Exciting Real issue. exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked and excited for this one. Yes. Um, we have some other things we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about um, Smack for Heinz. That's going to be a good topic today. We're going yes. to talk about. Yes. Um, this was something we saw on the news on Monday. Yeah. So the minute we saw that, we said, oh, we absolutely have to talk about that. Yeah. Because it combines our fair city and something very special to us and a city that is near our very dear friend, Donetta. Mm -hmm. Donetta lives on in the outskirts of Chicago. So she's not in Chicago, but around. And it's called the the program is called Smack for Heinz. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And uh, so, well Donetta will have to tell us if this is true. So or if she's seen this yet. Well you know you do not put the the, the folks in Chicago do not put ketchup on hot dogs, right? Is right, that what they, what they were saying? Yeah. So I don't know how you couldn't put ketchup on I hot dogs. It's, 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 you just, know, that, that's just, that's not, that's, that's, that doesn't work. That just doesn't seem to work. Yeah. But it's probably because here in the Pittsburgh area, Heinz is the ketchup of choice. Mm -hmm. Heinz is top dog here. Yeah. It, I, uh, it, we we could be biased because we've been born and raised here and obviously married and still live here. Right. But Heinz ketchup, I mean, we can give you a whole <laughs> dissertation about Heinz ketchup. The color, you could, we could tell if we're in another state that doesn't have Heinz ketchup. We oh. can tell what it is. We can oh. tell it's not Heinz. We can tell we it's can, not You can Heinz. taste it too. Most of the time you could just look by the, the color. It's a certain shade of red. Mm -hmm. And most of us, well, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much all of us love ketchup. Yeah. Terry, my sister, not a fan of ketchup, but that's okay. I'm more of a ketchup fanatic. <laughs> for, I'm enough of a ketchup fanatic for the both of us. So, mm -hmm. so that's mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. But it's the color. You can smell the difference mm -hmm. and you can absolutely taste the difference you sure can between heinz ketchup and hunts hunts mm -hmm. now if there isn't heinz ketchup around hunts is okay hunts will do <laughs> but it'll said, do. Will do but like the fancy cats up like cats up what's that supposed to be <laughs> fancy cats up mm -mm. cat that's, Chub, the, that's that but, watered down stuff. Yeah, that's that watered mm -hmm. down stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not no. good. It's not no. good. But Heinz, which watered down? Heinz, we put it on everything. We put it on French fries, hot dogs, hamburgers, eggs, even. I mean, you put it on anything. Some people, though, I this I was not a fan of when I was eating beef and pork. Would put it on bologna. I have done that once. I didn't like And that. it doesn't taste too good. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. And yes. I, I mean, imagine. I can see now, if you're, you're talking about bologna sandwiches. Yes. You can you can use uh, mustard on a bologna sandwich. Yeah, I would think Or so. mayonnaise or salad dressing. Sure. On absolutely. a bologna sandwich. But putting ketchup on bologna sandwiches. Uh, mm. Not a fan. No. Not a fan of that. Mm -mm. 
but no. Um, but that's that's what they say. So the smack for Heinz, they're pu- they put up a like these little uh, machines or something. Little a, yeah, a, it's like a big machine in the front it's, of. Oh, and it started April second too. Oh, that's right. That's right. It already st- started on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and it's in front of what was the name of the? I don't know. I don't know. Building. Is it all over? Chicago, or is it just one specific? It might have been just one specific space, one outside of one specific spot. I have to look look that up to make sure. But they they have the ketchup logo or whatever, and it says "Smack for Heinz," and it's a "Smack for Heinz." It's like a little button that you hit. You hit the button, and packets of Heinz ketchup will come out, and you can use. And someone or a hot dog. They actually showed uh, a preview of somebody actually hitting the button and putting the um, the ketchup on the hot dog there in Chicago, and they looked quite amazed. Yeah, they were just like, I don't normally put ketchup on my hot dog, but they they look really amazed about it. Heinz ketchup is amazing. <laughs> it is. It I'm is. gonna lo- I'm gonna look and see if I could could uh, can find. It's called, I, I want to know what the name of the. Um, Building us the for building. Our location, yeah. And Donetta says, "Me personally, I love ketchup on my hot dogs." Yay! Not, not sure about the Chicago preference, but on a Polish in Chicago, oh, it has to be grilled onions. Some places with mustard. Oh, I wonder so, if that's what that was. I wonder if that's what that was. Could have been. Maybe it. Maybe that's what they meant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was a Polish. Yeah, putting, putting ketchup on your hot dog is a must. I mean, it's it's a definite, definite thing here. So Hans Ketchup, one of the greatest ketchup companies. The greatest. The greatest in the world. I know we sound biased. But, we are, but that's okay. But it is. But it's okay. You know, every every it city every city has something that they can claim. That's right. So we can claim Hans. That's right. You know. Certainly claim it. So. Let me see if it, I don't know why I'm not. Okay. Let's see. I was trying to type it in, but okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Google search converts audio to te- No, we don't want that. Okay. Smack for Heinz, Illinois. Okay. Four days ago. Heinz to put ketchup dispenser stations outside Chicago hot dog okay hot dog restaurants ah okay so that's mm-hmm. what that is you you don't put ketchup on a Chicago style hot dog and Heinz is fighting that tradition <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool when we saw that on the news the condiment company is putting dispensable Heinz stations outside restaurants that don't serve its ketchup mm-hmm. the ketchup relief station will have a sign that reads smack for Heinz. The smackable billboard stations can be found at beef stands and other locations around the city starting Tuesday, April 2nd. And that's all they say. So you'll see a big red. Let's see if I could get the. The I said, wow, didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a big deal right now. Like I said, started on, we said it started on the second. So. I don't. I don't. I, I tried to blow the thing up, but it's not. Well, I guess that's not. Okay, that's not a bad picture. So, that's what we saw in the news. So, someone you could smack it, tap it, smack it, whatever you're gonna do, and you can get some Heinz ketchup. Yes. Now you are going to be if you don't. If you don't use ketchup on your beef hot dogs or whatever they're doing, whatever Mm -hmm. they're doing on your hot dog, period, then you are going to love it. Yeah. Don't miss miss out on that, especially Heinz ketchup. Because Heinz ketchup is the best. And Donetta said that's hilarious. (laughs) Well, I guess it would be. You know, hey, look at this where you can have you can have a little bit of a little piece of Pittsburgh with you. That's right, absolutely. You know, because that is that is the thing around here. <laughs> it is. It, def- it definitely is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Julie Hunter, that is great. You know, hey, you <laughs> should uh, 
Yeah, you should you should do that too. I don't think you've ever had hand sketcher before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, so check it out. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, that that's really really good thing. Like I said, uh, smack for hands. Yeah, I do like that smack for hands. The hands. Um, speaking of food, there's also some new. You know, um, the Pittsburgh Pirates had their opening day oh, game no. yesterday. Oh no! And. Um, of course, unfortunately, you know, they, they lost their home opener, but that's okay. Yeah, There's still okay. a lot of games left. They're still, they, they're still in a good spot. They only lost actually two games, but not back to back. So mm-hmm. six and two, you know, there's, there's still one of the best baseball teams out there right now. Mm-hmm. But um, at the ballpark at PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, they unveiled so many new um, treats and eats. Or yeah. eats and treats or whatever treats you want to call it. Eats and treats. So they have this foot long hot dog. Speaking of hot dogs, right? It's a foot long hot dog that has, um, I want to say roast beef or, or ro- uh, some type of shredded uh, pot roast. Mm. Okay. And um, if onions. I, if, if I eat pot roast, that, yeah, that pot, sounds good. Yeah, pot roast on a foot long hot dog. Okay. Along with onions. Um, and here's the kicker, pierogies. Well, I wouldn't be putting ketchup on that. Well, but you know what? That's that's one of the I guess that's, you could. that's one of the new treats there. And one of the other new treats is I don't know about pierogies. Well, I mean, I guess you could well, I don't know. It's it all might it's be all, all right. on this hot dog. Ugh. I feel well, like that might be a problem. But. Well, there's also a sweet treat, a sweet and savory treat. It's okay. this ice cream sundae. It's like a it's a fudge sundae that has bacon in it. So it's a bacon, it's a vanilla a bacon, oh. like a vanilla chocolate bacon uh with the chocolate sauce type of sundae. So it's sweet and savory. You know, why are people always using bacon for the savory? <laughs> I know. You know, we don't know. So, always have to eat bacon. But that's 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 one of the other treats. And then there's one more that I saw on the news when they were at the ballpark yesterday. Okay. Um, Some type of nachos. Like, they have nacho. Of course, everybody loves nachos. You right. Go wrong but it depends on what's on well, said nachos. Let's see. Nachos. Looks like there was uh, beef. Okay. Like you know, be uh, you know, looks like, like ground, ground beef, beef or something. Okay. Um, some some type of glaze or something. They look good, but then there was also, um, shredded cheese and um, jalapeno. Ooh, oh man, oh, well that that oh, mm. it just sounds terrible. I know. <laughs> it's just. Just oh wow, boy! Woo. Well, and I'm, you know how I used to like those jalapeno poppers when you and I were in school. Yeah, and you used to get on me about that. You know, I I used to really get excited. <laughs> I was like, I get you know, pay my three dollars and sixty nine cents. I remember how much it was. Ugh. I would get three or four of them. Feel free to eat those for me. <laughs> Oh, I did. Not around me, but <laughs> well, you think about the jalapeno poppers with the cream cheese in the middle. Yeah, those are the bomb. Ugh. Hey, why you think my why stomach you... is gurgling right now just thinking about it? Hey, why you think I why you think I studied so well? Because you certainly couldn't go to sleep after that <laughs> fire burning in your belly. <laughs> hey, I didn't I didn't foul it. So does, hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning to you. I know who and, that uh, is. You do? Yes. I didn't file it. It's Terry Lee. Oh. <laughs> All right, sis. <laughs> good morning to you. I'm an idiot. Why? Yeah, good morning to you. <laughs> and Danetta says, I bet the restroom stay busy. Yeah, she she got that right. And, hey, good morning, Summer Ray. Good morning good to morning, you. Good morning, Summer Ray. Yeah, welcome aboard. We were just talking about all the uh, wonderful food that PNC Park has now and also the... Uh, the uh, smack for hands uh, option machine or whatever gadget that uh, Chicago has right now that they're testing on their residents. Yeah. Well, the the Chicago thing is is one thing, but I don't know what they're doing at PNC. At PNC. <laughs> well, those are that's just like one of the, that's one of three or more. You know, 
I wonder, mm, let me see. Um, could, if, if I looked up PNC Park, um, yeah, you might be able to find like what goodies they have there. Let me see. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, real, real good stuff. Let's and, uh, see. I feel, a, a, uh, okay, let me see. See, I said, you and I have to go to the ballpark, but you won't get that stuff. I mean, they have other things there, but those are just some of the newest, uh, newest things they talked about. And the general manager was so happy. He was just like, <laughs> oh, man, you know, they have all Can't kinds of see. drinks down there. And, you know, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to try to hot dog? No, I, I can't say that I do. So. <laughs> you know, so unfortunate, but you don't want the Sunday? No. That might be the safest thing. Okay. Home run. Don't walk to PNC Park for Yinzerific refreshments. Okay. Yeah, I told you the new food items. Let's see what they got. Oh boy. Okay. There yes. it is. There it is. That's it, but that's what I was trying to explain. Look at look at that. Ugh. That's what I was trying to explain. Oh, this is called the Renegade Dog. Yes. Topped with pierogies, pot roast pickles, and caramelized onions. Ooh. You look at that bad boy right there. Oh, man. Woo. Yeah, my stomach is gurgling right now for it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see uh, everybody was talking in the chat. Uh, Terry says, hi, family. It's Terry. Laugh out loud. My name has changed for a very long, very long reason. Very long reason, but I'll it'll be back to normal soon. <laughs> then Summer Ray was saying good morning to Juliana, and uh, Danetta was saying, and she said, "Oh, my boss Betty loved her bag, especially the message, mind your business on it. She has the bag posted up, so when you walk in her office, you see it." That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Um, now, uh, here's another <laughs> new munchie, they say. This one is uh, it's called Big Moss Sticks, made from whole milk mozzarella, cheddar and chive bratwurst with peppers, onions, and brown mustard. There's a sweet cheese pierogi covered with chocolate and powdered sugar and a candied bacon sundae served on a Belgian waffle with chocolate covered pretzels, vanilla ice cream, and caramel sauce. That's what uh, one of the uh, sports anchors was eating. Oh, man. And then they have, uh, there's local restaurants helping the pirates beef up their food offerings too. Mm -hmm. uh, Caliente's Pizza and Draft House dishes out its brand of pies, yes. along with onion rings and chicken wings and sauces, ranging from buffalo and barbecue to honey, honey sriracha. sriracha. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of oof, a lot of stuff going on there. A lot. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a lot, sir. So that's a lot to ask. That's a lot to ask of someone. Well, like I said, we, we could still check out the ballpark maybe at some point. Yeah, we don't have to actually have to eat. No. <laughs> I know I won't be eating anything. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm like, don't you just have some plain stuff? Like plain hot dog. You know what happened to the days of just regular hot dogs and popcorn and Yeah, nachos. I'll take some popcorn, some I'm sure they have that stuff chips. too, but Nachos with cheese on it. Mm -hmm. Don't put, oh, I don't want any pierogies. If I'm going to eat pierogies, I'm going to eat them separately. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. I don't want it on a hamburger, on a hot dog. I don't want all of that. We're doing too much. Yeah, who knows? It's just too many things happening all at once. So, <laughs> so that's yeah, just one thing. <laughs> um, I'm getting stuff caught here. So, as everybody knows, I am a big wrestling buff. Um, well, for those of you who didn't know, you know now. Um, tonight and tomorrow, 
is the two day two night event for WrestleMania, uh, streaming exclusively on Peacock. That might sound like a spokesperson for this, but um, you do, yeah, yeah I am. So <laughs> the um the night what tonight's and I'm very excited to watch it tonight and tomorrow night. So tonight, um, the main event uh is the return of the mat. <laughs> well, you might as well. It's the return of the the rock. In the ring for the first time in 14 years. Mm -hmm. Wrestling, I should say. Um, the Rock hasn't wrestled for 14 years. Not into it, not in a WWE ring, no. Um, so that much time has gone past. Yes. Interesting. So he has he's not wrestled in 14 years. He is now a heel wrestler. Why? Well, um, he's siding with his cousin, the Who universal says? champion Roman Reigns. Oh. Who is the tribal chief? And the Usos are a part of this. Uh, well, the Usos have split up. <laughs> one Uso is a face. The brothers one. are split up. Yeah, they've split up oh, for a while. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> so there, so th the storyline is there is th there is this group that Roman Reigns is in called the Bloodline, and in the Bloodline is the tribal chief, mm -hmm. meaning the leader Roman Reigns. He now sucked The Rock into this, oh, and geez. The Rock now goes by the final boss. Interesting. Okay. So basically, he's paying homage to his, uh, I think it's one of his, I think it's the 2001 or 2003 character when he was a heel. So, you know, we're, you know, everybody's booing The Rock now. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why he's a heel because they feel like they wanted to gain some heat with him. Interesting. So we'll see what happens. But tonight it's uh, Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Seth freaking Rollins, who is the WWE champion and the American and CM Punk. No, look at my well, eyes. Well, yeah, well, I'll get to that. What do you see? Well, CM Punk is actually going to be there. Oh, is he? Um, he I just is, made that up as a commentator because he's. He literally, he legitly had arm surgery or oh. shoulder or el elbow surgery. So he's yeah. walking or he has a slant on his arm. Oh. So he probably won't be able to back, be back in the ring for another eight weeks. I just wanted to sing the cult of personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so he, like I said, he's, he's going to be there as a commentator. So it's Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Seth freaking Rollins, the WWE champion and the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Neon lights, no bell bright. Okay. When a leader <laughs> speaks, the reflection lies. Yeah, he'll you be see there. The, I, yeah. Well, okay. that's the song. When like. CM Punk comes out, I will. I will tell you. But if he's if he's hurt and everything, they're not gonna play his. Yeah, they are. Song. Yeah, they are. We don't mm. have to follow <laughs> me. Only mm. you. Can't set me free. Why do you think I like seeing? Why do you think I really like seeing Punk? Because of that song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that and they just like him as a person. But yeah, that that is the that is the most awesome song to come out to the ring too. I just thought of something else. Excuse me for a moment. Something else that we didn't bring over here. There's something we are going to talk about. So why while, while Bobby D is doing that, I'll continue talking about WrestleMania. So that's night one tonight. Now, tomorrow night's main event is actually uh, Roman Reigns defending his universal title against Cody Rhodes. So, yes, they are going to wrestle twice, just one as a tag team match and then one as a singles match tomorrow. And Seth Rollins is going to defend his title tomorrow night against the Scottish Warrior. The Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Now, who's that supposed to be? You don't know who Drew McIntyre is? No, never heard of him. Well, I can't call him my Irish brother. He's Scottish, but, you know, it's not too far, you know. <laughs> but um, he he's he's a really good wrestler as well. He's big. He's uh, big and buff. Yes. So that's and um, But that's, that's WrestleMania. So, again, it's uh, streaming live tonight and tomorrow, um, 7th. 7 p.m. Eastern time on uh, Peacock. Oh, 
for those of you who have Peacock. So, you know, enough about the wrestling. I know I'm boring everybody. <laughs> so I, I, you can, you can kind of tell when, when, when I start boring people, I either talk about sports or wrestling. So let's get to something more interesting here. <laughs> Let's see if we get see if we get anybody else to pay attention here. I'm I'm done with my rant. Sorry, guys. <laughs> rant so over. yeah, you know my wrestling rant. Everybody just kind of goes silent whenever I talk about that. Anyway, so Monday, everybody is excited about the solar eclipse, and depending on where you live, you will be able to see something. Something. So and it also depends on your weather. Yes. As well. Yeah. Hopefully. So we are really excited mm -hmm. about it because we are in the path of uh, totality. Sort of. Yes. Sort of. sort of. Yes. So we're supposed to get what ninety percent of it. Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-seven percent. Totality. Um. I will be at work early that mm -hmm. day. Mm-hmm. Hiding inside with the children. However, I did ask him, like, no, wait a minute. This, this, uh, I'm going to read a little bit about that too. Yeah, no like one. this is, this is a, uh, a huge global event type of thing. And I'm supposed to miss that. No, that's not, that is not okay. And everybody is, off except for me. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, I will get to see a few moments and then I'll go back into the room with the okay. children. But um uh let me see. Um I'm gonna I was I was reading something here. Let's see if I could get it to come back. Solar eclipse 2024. Solar Eclipse 2024. And it was actually very interesting. Ooh. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty freaky. Different. See how it's differently that's different? Really freaky. That's, that's just kind of <laughs> okay. So a it says a quick the, there are some quick facts. The time supposedly, and I, I I'm assuming because it's probably the, the time I'm getting here because of where we are. So it's probably pinging. Mm -hmm. It's saying that the time is 2.07 PM on Monday. Now the, okay. Which States will the solar eclipse be visible in 2024? I just want to also say just really, really quickly. I contacted GMA who incidentally always seems to leave us, seems to leave Pennsylvania out of things. Pittsburgh. Just, well, especially Pittsburgh, but. Mm -hmm. Haters. Um, yep. The eclipse will, so the states are, the, okay, the eclipse will, the eclipse will enter the United States in Texas and will pass through Oklahoma, mm -hmm. Arkansas, Missouri, mm -hmm. Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Right. A partial solar eclipse will be visible in the rest of the contiguous United States. So this is a pretty big deal. Um, let me see. And so they're asking what is so special about this particular solar eclipse. More people currently live in the path of totality compared to the last eclipse. Now, um, they're saying it's an estimated 31.6 million people live in the path of totality for this year's solar eclipse, compared to only 12 million during the last solar eclipse. Wow. From 2017. And I was saying- You said you don't remember that one either, do you? <laughs> I don't. The only thing I remember, well, okay, so I'm gonna tell you. I was talking to, <laughs> <laughs> to a, which is, which is scary when I say this, a former student who is now a co-worker. Ah, I have to tell you too about something else. Another former teen that was in after school now works at the front desk. Oh my gosh. Talk about gagged. Yes. Completely gagged. Where's the time going? Yes, indeed. Like that. So I'll tell you about that later. But, um, so this 
particular young lady that I was speaking to, um, I said, yeah, my sister said she remembered it and my husband and this and that and other people I'm talking to. I said, I must have been asleep or something. I know for a fact that it was happening. I remember looking up. I didn't see anything. I know you and I were going somewhere. I don't know. But the <laughs> only thing I remember is 45. Mm -hmm. We won't say the name. I remember 45 standing on the White House balcony or whatever that was and just looking up <laughs> and then I'm going to be a tough guy. Rip the glasses off and look up. That's all I remember about that. I don't remember it go getting dark. I don't remember seeing anything. I remember looking up. My eyes didn't hurt. My eyes still work. They're not burned out. I don't remember anything at all. I remember. But yeah. you remember. Well, I remember seeing that. What you 45. Mm -hmm. And I remember being at work and somehow or another, I think we all didn't know what time the thing was going to happen. Right. I think what it was, it was cloudy and we did. I don't think for some reason it wasn't really visible. The, the it, 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 right. Time. Right. It wasn't visible. It was for cloudy. Us. Yes. So, yeah. We didn't get a chance to. But it's a possibility that it, it it'll be cloudy here again and we yeah. may not. Well, but for some reason they tend, they tend to think that it'll be better this time. I hope so. I hope so. So, yeah. But it's interesting because the young lady said, no, Bobby, I remember. She said, the reason, the reason, because well, I said, my sister said, and who my sister is hopefully still on here, mm -hmm. said she remembers it getting dark, right? but it was already dark, getting dark, dark. Already getting dark. like, okay. get, like dark-ish, like not quite dusk mm -hmm. yet. Okay. So it got a little, like it dimmed and then when it was over it lit up a little bit mm -hmm. but it was already like mm -hmm. later in the day like six or whatever whatever okay. time it was uh -huh. so i don't i said i don't remember that i must have been asleep i don't know but the young lady i have to say actually co-signed <laughs> I, I was oh sorry boo Scared. She was scared when that happened. Well, that's all right because the the young lady, Boo, co-signed on what you said. She said your sister is exactly right. She said she she goes she remembers it get it being dusk ish, mm -hmm. going dark, and lighting back up a little bit, and then it was the rest of the evening. So that's okay. Evening. I said, okay. well, okay. I, said, I guess I just <laughs> missed it. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Well, like I said, I know that we are looking forward to that. Hopefully, um, on Monday, they're going to have uh, news specials and everything, live news starting at 2 p.m. Yes. On uh, Sunday. We got our glasses. I mean, it's Monday, not Sunday, Monday. Got our glasses. Got our glasses. Can't wait to put those on. And a friend gave me two more glasses. <laughs> So I decided to share those glasses because, yeah. you know, what am I going to do with four pairs of glasses? Yeah. Um, so that was, so that was that. Yeah. And um, so, yes, yeah, so we're excited. I even have a solar eclipse t-shirt that I'm going to wear in front of the kids. So that'll be fun <laughs> um, to show all the phases of the solar eclipse. That's what I meant to grab, but that's okay. That's all right. I won't, I won't bore everybody waiting for me to come back with, with the stuff. But um, with that being said, yes, I'm very excited to see it. I hope I remember it because um, they say, let me, let me see, they say that the solar eclipse will not happen again so for another 14 or 44 44 another 20 years 20 years and there is another thing that said it's going to happen cuz the solar eclipse has happened just so weird and wonky and you know like we had it 2017 mm -hmm. I was 2024 mm -hmm. it's going to happen next in 2044 and then again in 2046 yeah so i said, 
I said to one of my coworkers, my, one of my bosses, I said, I would really like to see it because by the time the next one comes around, we, meaning he and I, will probably be retired by then and we will not be here anymore. Maybe. We don't know. I'm not trying to say anything. Maybe as well. And then he looked at me and he said, Bobby, we won't be retired. Like we'll still be here. We'll still be here. I said, we better. We better be retired by then. We better be retired. But um, but yeah, so I said, I don't know. I said, we don't know. We don't know. Do we want to guess? Do we want to do we want to? We have one coming in just a few days. Do we want to take the chance <laughs> that we'll still be here in 20, 20 22 <laughs> years? Yeah, I know, right? We might not be in the path of totality <laughs> anymore. We don't know what's going on here. So they also said, okay, so if you would like to know how long this particular solar eclipse is going to last, the timing, including how long totality lasts, depends on the location. But some will see the moon fully covered fully cover the sun for up to four minutes and 28 seconds. Hmm. Okay. Now just two hours up the road, they're going to get totality. Yeah. They're going to get totality uh, in Erie. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody's flocking to Erie in Pennsylvania. So totality means that they're going to see literally the Corona, you know, the, uh, the let me see the, it's the Corona. Well, the corona is going to be the last. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the diamond ring, the ring of fire, and then the corona. I think that's how that goes. You see, I'm kind of a science buff, kind of a science space well, you, geek. Well, you call yourself a geek. I mean, I, I am a geek nah. when it comes to space. I, I, I am a geek. Oh, you know, Terry said she was on the parkway when that happened. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, see, Terry. Well, then where was I? I don't know where I was. I guess I must have just been watching TV. I don't know. I don't know. Watching something else. I don't know what I was Probably doing. Probably had the shit, right? Weren't paying yeah. attention. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I have no idea what I was doing. But it, it there, here's what this is the rare celestial event. Okay, total eclipse. And then, of course, you know, total eclipse of the heart. Bonnie Tyler. By Bonnie is Tyler. Is supposed to be singing that? Yes. I don't know where she's going to be, though, when she does it. How cool is that going to be? But they say that, that of course, that song has been uploaded over and over and over, over. and over and over. Yeah. And will probably be uploaded even all more. All day on Monday. All probably day all Monday. Weekend. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure probably of it. Probably all weekend and Monday. Probably all week. I'm sure of it. So uh, tune into NBC News now. <laughs> As Lester Holt hosts a two-hour special at 2 p.m. Eastern on Monday. On Monday. Yes. Well, From the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Is Indiana? Did I say Indiana? You say Indiana. Indiana was one of the places. Okay, so that's probably why he's going to He be just there. wanted to go to the speedway. That's all. <laughs> he's not slick. Well, that's what he wanted yeah, to okay, do. Well, that's what he wanted to do. Okay, Lester Holt can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. You know? So temporarily blackness and well. Yeah, so they even have a little video of, of him on here. Um lunar eclipse. I was trying to it's imagine if the moon's orbit or in the plane of Earth's orbit around the sun. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to find okay. All right, so this is this is actually very interesting. So remember how I said it starts, it's supposed to start in Texas, right? They have they're they're kind of like giving little blurbs and whatnot. Yes, Pittsburgh's not there again. Well, technically Pittsburgh isn't in the direct path. Mm -hmm. I think these are the folks I in the direct path. I see Cleveland is. Yes. Well, Cleveland's really going to get it. Buffalo too. Yes. So well, Buffalo, I could see. Dallas, Texas. So this is how they have it mapped out as far as our states here in America. And they say part of Canada will also have the opportunity I to bet see Niagara it. Falls will get it. I bet they will. Because they're close to Buffalo. 
Oh, well, there you go. So Dallas, Texas at 1.42 p.m. Central. Little Rock, Arkansas, 1.52 p.m. Central. Carbondale, Illinois, 2.01 p.m. Central. Cleveland, Ohio, 3.15 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so we're probably going to get it after 3. After 3? What's this, 3? Let's look at it this way. If the other ones start Central. Yeah, because... Because Central, if I'm right, that would be 2.42 our time. So... 2.42, 2.52... 301, three, and then you got and switch over. So okay. which means we're gonna get it around three-ish. Buffalo, New York, 320 p.m. Mm -hmm. Burlington, Vermont, 327 p.m. Eastern, and Caribou, Maine, 333 p.m. So Eastern. I think we're gonna get it between the 305 and the uh the, the 315 and the 320. So we may be in between because Cleveland's before us. Okay, well then I guess that makes sense on why they shut down schools then. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would say within the three o'clock hour. Ah, man. Okay. That's still going to be interesting. So Dallas will get a partial eclipse beginning 12, 23 p.m. Central and totality at 140. That's interesting. And see, look interesting. When it says, see, look when it says like the partial eclipse for Cleveland is basically two o'clock. Okay. So but we're only getting partial anyway. Mm -hmm. We're only getting partial. You said 95%? 97%. Mm -hmm. So let me see. I'm still thinking it's probably going to be uh, around the 3 o'clock time. Okay. I guess that makes sense then. Let me see if I can find out. About what time will Pittsburgh see the solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th, 2024? Must be specific. <laughs> Monday will be in the mid, I didn't ask about that again, <laughs> will be in the mid 60s with a few clouds during the total solar eclipse. 97% will be visible in Pittsburgh at 317 p.m. Okay, that was right. And right now it looks like we also could see light showers. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> okay. It's raining. Hey, I see it's dark. I see it's dark. It, and it's I dark. Feel, and I feel something. I feel something hit my head. And I feel something hit my and the areas obscuration will peak at about 97.1 percent whatever that means so from 2 to 4 30 no 2 to yeah 2 to 4 30 with a peak at 3 17. so i was right i said after three okay all right that's gonna be really interesting <laughs> i was like oh man it's dark <laughs> hey i was gonna set an alarm but i don't have to because every day Every Monday, anyway, at three fifteen, we have Your a bell goes off. we have a <laughs> a meeting. So right where I'm going to be, so that's perfect. So when that bell goes off, we're like, "Excuse me, I need to get outside." Yep, for a second, I just for a moment, I need some air. Yeah, we know you know what that's going to be about. So we have our glasses ready to go. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Me too. I'm very yeah, excited. I, I can't wait for that. <laughs> um, did you also hear about the uh, earthquake that uh, rocked parts of, uh, just started in uh, Newark, New Jersey yesterday, and it uh, hit parts of New York and Pennsylvania? Oh, my. I heard about that. 4.5 on the uh, Richter scale. 4.5 magnitude. Uh, that's so, not good. Yeah. So they showed a, uh, on GMA, they uh, showed a guy who was uh, in a barber shop, mm. and he would do was like, yeah, he was cutting this guy's head. Of course, you know, when they felt the tremor, he's like, what is, he's like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, they then, don't. Um, they also. The earth doesn't move around here. No. They also showed a um, a couple homes in um, New York. Uh, one of them, there was this dog sitting up at the window. And then as soon as the house started shaking, 
And they showed the picture of how shaking the dog got him. So what is that? What's going on? You know, the dog was barking. Oh, and he ran off. I don't blame him. And then they showed the picture of the inside of the house, like where stuff was falling off the cabinets and stuff. And mm. yeah, it, it, was, it, it was it was crazy. That sounds crazy. So we're glad that nobody was uh, injured. But they do have a couple of houses in Newark, New Jersey, that are considered condemned because of what happened. Mm. So, um. And then you also have uh, coming up soon a uh, palindrome days. <laughs> well, yes, we've already had one mm-hmm. palindrome day, and the palindrome days are as follows. No, that's <laughs> it was literally this Tuesday, so April second, twenty twenty four. So palindrome is something that's the same forward as it is backward. It could be a mathematical number. It could be a name. My friend and mentor has a palindrome name, Aviva. <laughs> so, <laughs> A-V-I-V-A, and then backwards, A-V-I-V-A. Um, so they say the palindrome days for this month are April 2nd, April 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. Now, I was talking to a friend and coworker the other day, and I was wearing the shirt, of course, on Tuesday. And she said, Mrs. Cubbage, make it make sense. And she goes, I don't think that <laughs> she goes, I don't think that they picked that right. <laughs> so I told her I was gonna try to figure this out. All right, so palindrome. So we have four, two, 24. So that was Tuesday, right? So that makes yeah. sense, right? Four, so two, 24. Four, two, two, four, four, two, two, four. Right. So now she wants me to make sense of the next set here. Okay, no, that makes sense. Now that, now that I wrote it, now that I paid attention. Okay, so. So, four, two, zero, two, four. Four, two, zero, two, four. And then I guess if you go down the line with one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you know, down, down, down. Okay, that makes sense now. But I told her she has to take out the 20 and the 24 for it to make sense. Okay. Right? Yeah. Because you can't, if you put the 20 in there, then it doesn't make sense. So it has to be the four and the two, and then the two and the four at the end, and then the one middle, one middle number. So that makes sense, right? It does. That makes sense. Okay. All right. I got it. You got it. I got it. I know what I know what to tell her now. I got it. I got it. <laughs> now can I show my presence? Yes. You can show your presence. Okay. So I got a couple a couple of very sweet surprises this week. Number one was a um a lovely bracelet. Some friends of ours went on vacation during spring break to Belize. And uh, this beautiful little, and it's knit, very, very tight, tightly knit. Like, just look at the, like, it's just awesome. Just beautiful. And she said she had to get it for me because it's purple. So I appreciate that. (laughs) And our very dear Danetta got me this. And she's going to laugh because I told her I was going to fill it up right away. (laughs) It's beautiful. It looks like it is filled up. It's already filled. You see stuff hanging out of it already. What is that? A piece of paper? It's paper. Is that construction paper? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, that that is an awesome bag. You read what it says? The influence of a good teacher... I'm going to turn around. 
can never be erased. <laughs> that is so true. So I love it. So thank you. <laughs> I told you I was going to fill it up right away. You see how quickly that happened. Dang. It happens quick. You give us teacher or something, we're going to fill it up. We, we use it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. I wonder how many other people are going to want that bag. Actually, well, they can get it on themselves. Yeah, they can. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to make my little paper. I make these little paper strips for my kids. And when oh, they do that's something, what that is. okay. When they do something right, I put their name and what they did on the kindness cone. So this is a, a scoop of ice cream on our kindness cone. Okay. That so might say Samuel was very kind to his friend. He helped his friend put their backpack on in their cubby or something. And then I put the date on it and there you go. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> and Donetta said, surprise, glad you liked it. And it was my pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you guys too. It is time for a new contest. Oh uh, boy. Uh, so you didn't think we we're going to do that, did you? I just so, never know. Well, I didn't write it down. Well, actually, I just kind of thought of it just now. So because of all the uh, the excitement that we had for the previous contest, being sarcastic, <laughs> um, what we are now looking for, oh, Lord, are you looking for somebody? Who is this? Oh, yes, you know who. Again? It's not the same. That person that was trying to mess up the <laughs> The show before he stopped by yesterday. So hopefully he'll oh, this be is okay. somebody else. This is somebody else. All right. Okay. So um I, I got will a bag say of something here. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so we are starting another contest and it does involve YouTube once again. Okay. Because it is the fourth month, we are looking for four subscribers okay how about them apples four like four horsemen four so if you can find us four youtube subscribers you win a prize of our choice <laughs> and uh coming it could be a book it, it could, be. could be earrings could be it could be a t-shirt yep it could be something about the eclipse could be anything. You never know what you might get. You never know what you might get. True, true. And are you guys excited about this one? The Cup House Creations. It's open again. Oh, boy. The spring sense. It's spring. So it's time to get some more soaps out there. If you guys are interested in it. So uh, we will be posting that stuff uh, sometime soon. And uh, what's, what's so funny? I'm sorry. It, you just made a Michael Jackson reference. Sorry. Every time I hear it. I did? We said it's spring. And then I'll, when people say it's spring, I think, Remember the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm okay. Sorry. Too much, too much music running through my head. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll be um, good now. Yeah. Speak. Speaking of uh, speaking but of Michael music. Jackson. No. Speaking of music, we had such a great time at City Winery in Pittsburgh last week. Oh um, yes. Had a chance to meet Keith Washington after the show. That was kind of impromptu. Yes. It really much. was impromptu. Very much so. And. Um, yeah, he's, he's turned out real cool. Yes. You know, real cool, real shy. Yeah. Kind of shy. Yeah. But but uh, a class act. But a class act. So we're glad that we had a chance to go. And we met another friend out of it last week, too. Yes, we did. So it was really sweet. So Yes, um, she's a very sweet lady. You're looking forward to going back there and seeing our friends and the staff there uh, very, very soon. Let's see if I could. Should I show the picture? Yeah, you should. Yeah. It's okay. So... And uh, so um, I've decided, so there is no audio show this weekend. 
So we're going to give our, uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Had a chance to meet the legend <laughs> after the show. That's right. So, um, Mr. Kissing You. <laughs> Mr. Are You Still in Love with Me? That's right. Mr. Bob. Bob, what about those hammer pants? Bob. Bob. I thought those hammer pants. <laughs> but um, yeah, again, so um, new audio show coming soon. Again, uh, crazy people follow us to be determined uh, this month, though. Um, Love Notes will probably be in a couple weeks, you know. Um, because we're giving our our network was down, so we're giving them chance to get it together. And, and they know they're down, so they they are trying to uh, work on the issue. As far as that, so um, so thank you guys for your patience. Um, we will be doing the audio shows soon. We'll try to give it a go for Thursday. Yeah. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Sounds good. As far as that, but. Um, other than that, um, make sure you guys uh, join us on our YouTube channel this coming Tuesday. It's Tuesday Talks with Bobby D at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. And then Etiquette Class with Mrs. Cubbage is coming Wednesday, 7.30 a.m. Uh, like I said, we'll, we're, we're going to try to give the audio shows a... Um, a shot here for Thursday the 11th. Uh, we don't know which one yet, so we'll let you know. know. Let you know. Uh, cooking phone, with Mrs. Cubbage is coming Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern, right here. And uh, Lord willing, uh, we'll be back next Saturday morning, right here on our YouTube channel for the CCI Radio Show YouTube podcast. Sounds like a plan. So, and we are headed to. Do you want to? Tell everyone where we're headed so quickly. Yes. So, yeah, we are on our way to get our shots. Yes. More and, COVID shots. Um, yeah, once we get that, then we plan on going out somewhere to probably uh, partake in a snack or something. <laughs> that sounds good. And um, <laughs> do a little what, quick grocery shopping pickup. Yes. And? And go by and see my aunt, oh, uh, whose birthday. So I will say uh, my aunt Denise's birthday is tomorrow, the yes. 7th. So I want to say happy early birthday to my aunt Denise. Absolutely. So uh, hopefully she'll be surprised when we show up today. Yes, I hope so. And then uh, ending it off tonight uh, for me, WrestleMania. Bobby Dean, not so much. She'll be watching all kinds of stuff on streaming or YouTube or... I might watch Physical 100 again. Or you can watch that again. <laughs> and it's funny, we just I just got a notification about where we're going. Oh, well, very good. So I guess they're saying, hey. Hey, it's time. But we still got time. So we, we should get ready to wrap it up. Get ready to get on out of here. Sounds like a plan, sir. Um, anything else, uh, Bobby D? No, nothing from me. Thank you so much for joining us today, though, everybody. We... Definitely appreciate you. Make sure you like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already done so. And make sure you give us the thumbs up on this video. Yes. Of course. And uh, we just thank you. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today's a gift. That's why we call it the present. Thank you so much for joining us today. And make sure if you are in the path of totality, Get your shades out and ready because it looks like it's going to be quite the event. Just like Corey Hart. That's right. Wear your sunglasses. During the day. During the day. <laughs> during, during the eclipse. During the eclipse. That is during correct. During totality. Yes. So please enjoy and enjoy safely, as they say. Have a great day, everybody. Be good. Bye-bye.